having Brandon doing a little work on the log yard here. There was kind of a little slope right there that I didn't like. It was going to be kind of hard to get it to shape up like I wanted it. So he was here doing some uh, work anyway. Clearing out more of this uh, back area to our west. I just had to cut this down. Once he gets that kind of cut out, we can handle the rest. We're supposed to have some rock coming in this week, so we'd like to get this from our gravel anyway. Then, then we can kind of start focusing our efforts here in the back with that big heavy four to six inch rock. Let's say the two inch rocks are probably all we use. survey stakes right out there. I don't know if I mentioned or not, we had a little problems with our neighbors to the north here, so to eliminate future problems, we're going to build a nice pipe fence all the way up through there, north the property line, and we're going to come up with it here along the highway as well. We'll actually end up putting a big metal gate here that uh, opens the road as well. That way we can just kind of keep the things under a little bit of walk and key. Get an inventory of logs and of course inventory of equipment and such in here. It's uh, this day and age, you can't be too careful. You better safe than safe. Pretty good here. We can track that in a little bit with the skid steer, give Johnny something to do this week. Uh, I kind of took this little hump out I was worried about right here, which is kind of a little, little hump. I didn't like it. Just kind of kind of threw off the feng shui of the yard here. So now that he's got that cut out, this is all ready for gravel. This will look pretty good. He's moving on back here to the back. We'll go back here and watch him work. We've got nothing to do. Shaped up to be a pretty nice day, all things considered, with the snow last night. I miss my Peterbilt. Love my Western Star, but I miss my Peterbilt.
still a little snow on the Trail King trailer there. It's been out of the sun. Old tires. Some cedar logs. Firewood for the shop. Brush pile there. A lot of that uh, brush there is from the tree puller when we were playing around with it. I still need to put the finishing touches on that video. So this is all sand back here. And that's why right here we use this four to six inch rock because it holds up a little better. Go ahead and shift her into twin screw. sand, sandstone, but a lot of sand. good rat. riffraff or fill and brought back here. Uh, that sand is from when they did castings here. We do know that. But 
I can't imagine what a lot of that sandstone would be. work of sorts. So not everything he does is just strictly wrong. So that's why when he built the pusher, he built it where he could take it on and off as needed. Tell if he's actually getting down to some dirt yet or not, but that's actually working out pretty good. Kind of sloping it, so we got some drainage back this way anyway. Don't bother me to have a little slope. We don't need any standing water or anything cooling up the log yard. Just kind of a gradual incline there. Taking all that loose material, putting it in here. looks big back here. Property line's not too much further through that brush back there. But uh, like I said, the place looks a lot bigger when you get it kind of slicked off and opened up. <laughs> 